Yo, what's up guys, it's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, and today I'm bringing you guys a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. And it's been such a long time since I posted an MW3 gameplay. Ever since Black Ops 2 came out, I don't even believe I posted one Modern Warfare 3 video. And that's because I was mainly playing Black Ops 2, trying to get feel for the game, trying to see if I can find a perfect class I love, the weapon I love the most. And the problem with Black Ops 2 is... I don't really have a favorite gun. I mean, I have guns I like more than others, but I'm not sure if I can pinpoint a gun I love the most. The thing that's closest to the gun I love the most is probably the tar. I really like the tar. It reminds me of the tar from MW2 in a way. It's a little different, but that's why I kind of like it. And overall, in Modern Warfare 3, I feel a lot more comfortable with a lot more guns, and I can definitely say that the MP7, the ACR, or the Type 25 are my pretty much top three go-to guns with those weapons in my hands I can pretty much dominate anyone in front of me I just feel so comfortable they fit my playstyle the best they're accurate they're just awesome I love the guns I know a lot of you guys are gonna call them noob weapons or like you know I don't even know what you guys call things I don't get why people get so mad over certain weapons because everyone has the opportunity and has the ability to use the same weapon I'm using if they don't like the ACR, if they don't like dying by it, they should try it out themselves. And if they like it, use it. But if you don't like it, don't be hating on it. So, I don't really care what guns people use. It doesn't matter to me, but I know it makes a huge difference to people. And um, people really care about that kind of stuff. The point of this video I want to talk about is Call of Duty Ghosts. Because we all know that's the officially announced title for the next Call of Duty. You guys seen the posters, you guys seen the updates, the news, the leaks... The leaked images, the wallpapers, all that stuff. You guys can actually go out to GameStop now and pre-order Call of Duty Ghosts months and months ahead, which is pretty crazy because it comes out November 5th, which is a long-ass time away. <laughs> I actually haven't pre-ordered Call of Duty Ghosts just yet, but I plan to in the next couple days because I want it and I cannot wait. I'm super pumped up, and I'm just glad that it's going to be made by Infinity Ward because, like I said before... In this game, I feel a lot more comfortable, and I think it's because Infinity Ward made the game. And here, in Modern Warfare 2, in Call of Duty 4, all the CODs made by Infinity Ward, I just feel like I can perform better in the games. I feel like I'm more dominant. I'm not skeptical on what guns to use. I'm not afraid to go into gunfights. I'm not afraid to rush around and get kills. I just feel like I can do better in these games than, than Treyarch games. In World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, I don't feel as powerful as I am in these games. I don't feel I can run the map and just wreck everyone in front of me. I have a tough time. It feels like my bullets don't connect as well. The aiming and the movement is not as fluid. I don't think at least. That's just my preference. I know a lot of you guys have mixed feelings. And you see that guy? That guy's body was all contorted and weird and it's shit looking. I don't know what the hell was going on with him. It was probably like the last stand or final stand, whatever it's called. Some glitch or something. But yeah, I just feel more comfortable playing in Infinity War made games. And like I said before, the question which I didn't even mention, I mentioned it but I didn't talk about it, is what do you guys think about Call of Duty Ghosts? Do you guys think it's going to be good? By what we heard so far, we haven't heard much, but what we did here was that it's going to be all new storyline, all new characters, and it's set in the future with modernized weapons. There's not... You know, like I said, there's not too much information released on it. We don't know much about it, but what we do know is, is that Ghost and Ghosts, the title of the Call, Call of Duty, is not related in any way or shape, form, whatever. Ghost from Modern Warfare 2 is not going to be in Call of Duty Ghosts. They just called it that because, if you guys seen the little masked, masked trailer teaser thing, it was a group of like six, a squad of like six guys... That are probably like, um, what I see. I've seen some posts on trailerintel.com of different opinions of people from the website. And they think it's some like little uh, organization group that is fighting off terrorists. And it's a post, uh, like a, what do you call it, apocalyptic sort of um, storyline I guess. I'm not really sure. I forgot what I said exactly. I'll provide a link in the description if you guys want to check that out to see their opinions. And personally, I kind of agree with that. I believe it's going to be a squad of six because we've seen the six guys in the end of the trailer, including the dog. 
And I don't really know much, so I can't talk about it too much. But it does, to me, look pretty cool. A lot of people did not like the trailer. They were so upset and so pissed off that they didn't show any gameplay for Black Ops 2. But I understand that because May 21st, they're going to be revealing the new Xbox, which is hopefully going to be decent. I'm crossing my fingers here. And they're also going to be showing Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. No more trailers, just the actual gameplay, gameplay footage of Call of Duty Ghost, which I'm really... Looking forward to. Hopefully, it's good. And it seems like the hype for every COD is always bigger and bigger and bigger. The hype for MW3 was huge. For Black Ops 2 is even bigger. And now the hype for Call of Duty Ghosts is even larger. Just because they pretty much made a whole new series. It's not another. It's not branching off the Modern Warfare series. It's a whole new thing. Call of Duty Ghosts. Who knows? In the future, there might be Ghost One, Two, or not One. You know, Ghost Two, Three, Four, whatever. We gotta find, we're, we're gonna see, I guess. That's years ahead, but no more Modern Warfare series unless they plan on making some. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry this commentary is pretty dull and flat, and I really haven't provided much information to anything. I just like to make videos where I talk and talk and talk just about what's in my mind, what I think, my opinions, and I really wanna hear what your guys' opinions are. You guys can comment below. You guys can tell me what you think about Call of Duty Ghost of, or maybe things of you heard. Maybe if you're excited for it, if you're not excited for it, whatever. You can also can tell me below if you like Infinity Ward games more or Treyarch games more and why. I'm definitely curious. Like I said before, I'm more um, into Infinity Ward games just because I feel like I can dominate more. I feel like they're more fluid for me. I'm sorry, my gameplay there, I had to turn my volume down. Whenever I make my videos, I tend to um, watch my gameplay as I'm talking. So if something comes up in the gameplay... I could talk about it. And speaking of the gameplay, I forgot to mention for some reason in this gameplay, I believe I go 64 and 3 or 64 and 61 and 4, something like that. It was a pretty decent gameplay. I mean, it was pretty good. It was an awesome gameplay. But I know I could do better, and I hate when I look back on it, seeing my mistakes, knowing that I could have done something different or could have went somewhere else, could have, you know, took cover at a certain point or time, whatever. But in the gameplay, I was using the ACR. With the silencer and extended mags, I was using the Predator Missile, the AH-6 Overwatch, and then the Pavlo. I was kind of pissed off that every time I called in my AH-6 or Pavlo, the enemy team would shoot them down automatically, no matter what. It's like they're pointing at the sky with their freaking stingers, waiting for my damn score streaks to be called in. Here I get a quad Pred Missile. That was pretty sweet. This gameplay is wrapping up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did... Your like rating is greatly, greatly appreciated because it seems like lately I really haven't been getting many views, nor have I been getting many likes, and it's understandable because a lot of my subs are kind of inactive, but the ones that are active, thank you so much. I read all my comments. If you guys have a question, type it below because I'll try my best to respond to it as soon as I can. But yeah, guys, it's Shot here, aka Sean, your friendly COD fanboy, signing out. Peace.